Hello everyone and welcome to our Trader Talks videos with myself, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hantech and also Steve Miley, the market chartist. Now, we're going to be pointing you to our website, hmarkets.com, where you can sign up for a demo account very quickly or a live trading account in four easy steps. Now, Steve, this um, risk appetite move has just consolidated a little bit in the last week, I think, um, but I think there's still more upside to come. Yeah, yeah. I mean, certainly, you know, we spoke uh, previously about the Biden bounce, right? Um, and then since then, we've had those, you know, amazingly positive and let's yeah, hope COVID vaccines. Yeah. Yeah, let's hope so. So um, from both Pfizer and Moderna. Um, and the markets love that from a, a risk on perspective. You know, as you say, risk appetite is high. Um, I'm focusing on the Dow Jones today and obviously um, doing particularly well the Dow because of it's kind of more got more of that old economy, those value stocks in here. Um, and we've been in a resilient consolidation in kind of this sideways theme in here. Um, and, but it's certainly holding on to support. We had that positive breakout. And given we've had that rectangle pattern, the rectangle, yeah. Yeah, that big rectangle, um, which consists of about 3,000 Dow points, uh, broke above the top of that. You know, you've got good support now at 28,900, just gone up to just short of 30,000. And the measure on that breakout is 32,000. Now, you know, I, like, I know you like to talk about the RSI, so I'll probably hand that one over to you. But it's all looking very positive and risk on to me. Yeah, RSI a little bit. Um, well, it's strong. It is strong. And yeah. um, it's not a million miles off that 70 mark, which everyone always yeah. likes to say, well, that's overbought, isn't it? At 70. Yeah. Well, it doesn't always trend um, mean that way if it's trending. If it's a trending yeah. move and it goes above 70, that's a really strong suggestion that there's going to be good upside to come. And I still think that there is further gains to be had in this one. As you said, nice support at 28. 900 and um, yep. i think that it would suggest that, that i think that any weakness we get on this um in, in the in near term i think is a chance to buy and i think we're yeah. going to be pushing above that thirty thousand level and um that breakout to all-time highs would open the upside i think 32 yep. big bigger level yep. um certainly seems to be on the case yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and I think the other thing to point out is it's not quite as um, clear on the Dow, but you've got a lot of the other equity indices, the S&P, the NASDAQ, the the European equity indices have got more like flag formation. So it's not yeah. quite the same. But yeah, so you've got those flags, which... Yeah, the, the, I think that the, the DAX is me on that to yeah. potential flag um, breakout levels. But yeah, yeah I think the uh, these Wall Street markets do look positive and still looking for another move to the upside. Also, we haven't had that santa claus rally even yet so no no that's right those. that's right and you're looking at the foreign exchange markets looking at the kiwi dollar and another kind of risk on risk appetite play yeah i think kiwi is an interesting one because again you say risk appetite is positive at the moment so that means the kiwi is strong and in that in the in these for the kiwi you've weaker dollar for one you've got mm -hmm. this trade agreement in asia which the uh, new yeah. zealand economy was part of that is also yeah. a big bullish move <laughs> generally the covid vaccines into 2021 are going to be risk positive for these um, commodity currencies and i think that all adds up to kiwi pushing on and i think we've seen again another breakout this morning a 69 big figure i think yeah. pushing above that again was an important move but Finding that support at 68 big figure, I think, was a really yeah. important move. So anything between 68 and 69, I think, is a really good buying opportunity for the Kiwi now if you get a little bit of a near-term pullback. Again, sure. similar with the Dow, I think you do once more have the RSI, which strengthening, but uh, around that 70 mark, which might induce a little bit of a pullback. But I would see this as strong momentum territory, and I think the Kiwi is going to be pushing on. Now, you'd be looking out for 70 big figure. Above that, you've got like 70, 60 as well as another level to look out for. But I think yep. we're going to be looking positive on the Kiwi. Yeah. Yeah, and I agree with all of that. And the, on the macro side there, just another couple of little things to throw in. RBNZ shifting away from that super dovish tone, right? Negative interest rates, not completely taken off the table, but certainly moving away from that. And then the other thing, you know, as you kind of alluded to there with that, the there's this Asian trade agreement in here is that, you know, the New Zealand economy has probably been more, probably the best of the major economies alongside China, having dealt with and come through yeah. COVID, even pre-vaccine, right? So um, they're in a really good place to take advantage of any kind of growth spurt and recovery we get going into 2021 with the um, more positive outlook from a vaccine. So, yeah, I mean, and that's going to get priced in, in 2020, late 2020.
Yeah, I agree with that. And um, I think that what sort of going back to what you said about the RBNZ, they're looking at the, the economy act, reacting more resilient than they had previously yeah. been expecting. Yeah. And again, the, the commentary is far less dovish than um, markets had be, previously been factoring in and seemingly sure. moving away from those negative rates, as we saw with the Aussie as well. But the Kiwi, once more, moving away from the negative rate chat from the RBNZ yeah. is only going to be a positive, I think, for the Kiwi. Agreed, agreed. Well, good to speak to you again, Richard. Yeah, thanks a lot, Steve. And uh, we'll speak to you all next time for some more Trader Talks.